Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be a tarot haul. <laughs> um, I went a little crazy. So <laughs> I haven't bought decks for myself like this, like in bulk like this in a long time. Um, so it was really kind of nice to be able to make some purchases. Um, and I'm really, 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 really happy with all of them. <laughs> so without further ado, um, they are all tarot except for two decks. So let's do the oracles first, just to get them out of the way. So first one, I was at Barnes and Noble and, um, I, it was literally like I was on my way to work and I wanted to stop at Barnes and Noble. And of course, they had the Queen of Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. I really like Stacey DeMarco's decks. Love the artworks and all of them. They're really pretty. This one is really pretty. So look at the card backs. Moons, the cycles of the moon. And the cards themselves have a nice little keyword at the bottom and this gorgeous imagery. Um, so I really feel like this is going to be a deck. Sorry for the glare, you guys, the window's open. Um, I feel like this is going to be a deck where I will be working with all the time. I just know when I open certain Oracle decks that they're going to be just a good working deck for client readings. So this is definitely one of those. Um, haven't worked with any of these decks yet. These are, this is literally just me showing it off. Um, really pleased. I love a good Oracle deck. I don't really care too much for the fact that it's high gloss. Uh, the, cause that makes it harder to take a picture with. <laughs> but other than that, I'm really happy with the look of this, of this deck. I think it's beautiful. Um, and like I said, Ooh, look at hunger. Um, I think it just goes really well. I think it'll go really well with other Oracle decks, other tarot decks that I own. And it comes with a nice little guidebook. So Barnes & Noble had that one. Barnes & Noble also had another Oracle deck that I picked up. Which is called the Crystal Medicine Oracle. So it relates a crystal in each of the cards. The cool thing about this one, this is like my first deck that I've owned that is circular. So it has a nice guidebook. Haven't really paid much attention to it, but... Definitely feel like this will be a deck where the guidebook is necessary, but look at the cards. So they're circular. Um, they have a nice little galaxy <laughs> and um, the, each card will have a keyword. It tells you the season. It tells you about the crystal. So it says the crystal's name, the season, and the keyword. So like this one says going within its inner world and bogey stones. Oh, maybe they don't always have the season. So one of them just did. So <laughs> like I said, I haven't worked with any of them. Unconditional love, the diamond, mother Mary. Ooh. So I think this is going to be a fun one to work with. Freedom, the eagle, the blue, bar the blue barite. Some of these crystals that are popping up on here, I haven't even heard of before. So that's going to be kind of cool too, to kind of get some insight on, on that. Um, I found this deck again at Barnes and Noble. So that was kind of nice to, um, to see something different because I don't know if you guys know, like when you go to Barnes and Noble, sometimes you see the same stuff. Like it's like they have the same inventory. Um, so it was kind of cool cause I've never seen this deck there before. And oftentimes when that happens, um, I will purchase it just because, <laughs> um, but usually, I don't know if you guys do this, but when I'm at Barnes and Noble, if I see a deck that, um, has potential or, you know, maybe something that I want, I will Google it and see if I could see some pictures and make my decision before I buy it. So it just depends. So there's that. Ah, water. Okay. Now let's talk about the tarot decks. So, um, let's do the first one. This is, um, this was a, an indie deck that I purchased off of, um, tarotcollectibles.com. Um, I'll put the information in the description box so you guys know, but it's called the trip and wait. Now this one has probably popped up a couple times, um, on other YouTuber tarot tubers, um, you know, their videos, but I saw this one pop up on Instagram 
and I had to find it. I had to find it. It's a tarot, it's a Rider weight clone, and I love Rider weight. so anything that is Rider weight that is just different, I gotta have it. So this is the Trip and Weight Tarot. It says, the Trip and Weight Tarot blends colorful 60s style psychedelic imagery with traditional tarot symbolism, breathing life into this iconic much loved tarot classic. So I also ordered their, um, they have 10 cards, like they're like 10 extras um, that you can order. So that it like this one came with the sun and you can choose like if you want to put this sun in there or the other sun. I already swapped some out, but um, like the devil card, the original devil card that the deck came with, I didn't, I don't really care for this one, but I love the other devil. So <laughs> I purchased the extra 10 cards just because why not? Um, so the deck itself has this gorgeous colorful psychedelic looking background and it's standard size so it is a regular Rider weight size I don't even know if I have my right away around here um but look at the freaking colors it's just like the Rider weight only tripped out <laughs> so um it's beautiful it is beautiful I haven't posted much of this on my Instagram look at that high priestess um, the Empress, I freaking love it. This is going to be a summer deck for sure. Like, um, I don't know if you guys do that, but I like to look at the decks and be like, oh, this is, you know, a good winter deck or a summer deck. I just see the, the potential in it like that. Let me show you the devil because <laughs> I wasn't into it. Um, this is the guru. This is actually the hierophant. So that was kind of cool. Uh, let's see. The devil. Okay. So the like I said, the original devil comes like this. I'm not really a fan of that. I don't know. I'm not very comfortable with that image. <laughs> So I like this one. This is the other devil that came with it. The devil. Look at his eyes are all tripped out. Isn't that so cute? So um, yeah, so I swapped that one out. The other one that came with the pack of 10 is the tower. Where are you? Sorry guys. <laughs> So this is the tower and the extra pack that I bought. That one's kind of cool, it's simple. This is the one in the deck, it's the Atlantis, isn't that cool, with the little mermaid? So I love mermaids, so I kept that one. But yeah, I don't wanna show you all of the cards because if you go out and buy it, I want you to be surprised, but freaking gorgeous colors, psychedelic. If you're into that, you'll love this deck. <laughs> So that is the Trip and Wait Tarot. And my deck was signed by the creator. So that was kind of cool. And then put this away. Okay. Next is um so I there was a a tarot reader on Instagram that was posting some of their decks that they were selling because they wanted to rehome their decks. And I get it, you know, I've done that too. Sometimes you just don't connect or you want to, you know, make some space in your collection. So I messaged um, this person and told them I was interested in two of the decks and the sweetheart that they are, um, they gifted them to me. They didn't even charge me. So that was really sweet of them. Um, and I told them, I promise I will take care of your babies, <laughs> your tarot babies. So um, I have the Botticelli. I hope that's how you say it. Um, the Botticelli Tarot. This is the golden one. Um, this deck, you guys, as you can already tell by the, um, the cover, it has the gold foil. It's beautiful. This again, this is going to be a summer deck. For sure, um, anything with the gold foil. So this deck is by Los Caribo. Los Caribo. Los Caribo. <laughs> Scarabio. <laughs> you would think I would know how to pronounce it. Um, so the backs are cool. So you can read them reversed. 
They can go either way. Oh my God, get ready. Okay, <laughs> so this is the full. Look at that golden background. And it's not just like straight up gold foil background. It's like a design. It's fucking beautiful. Ugh. So the deck itself, um, I don't even know what time this, this, this kind of art is, but it's very, it reminds me of like Catholic, the Catholic church. It's just freaking gorgeous. So I think, and, and you know what? This one actually reminds me of my golden tarot and I sold it. I rehomed my golden tarot to someone and I kind of miss it, but this deck actually reminds me a lot of it. So I'm kind of excited to have <laughs> something like this again. Look at this lover's card. Oh my God. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my God, this deck is beautiful. So even if like it doesn't become something that I work with, it is gonna photograph beautifully. Let's see. Look at the uh, the stars. And oh my God, the moon. I haven't even looked through these cards all the way yet, you guys. This is totally a first impression. <gasps> Aphrodite is the world. Yes. See, it's just, oh. It's so pretty. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm so happy to have this deck. Um, and you can find it on Amazon still. So if you guys are interested, look it up. Sorry, I have so much junk on my table. <laughs> okay, the other one that, um, that he gave me is the Harmonious Tarot. I really, really liked the artwork. Um, I had to Google this one to see more of the images and I was like, no, nah, I, I want this deck. It's really, it's really pretty. I really like the artwork again. I, I don't know how to describe it, but, um, it's also by Los Carabello. <laughs> this is the backs really detailed. Um, and of course here we have the fool. So the only thing that I don't care much about this deck is the artwork is so detailed. It's small. So you really got to look close to see, and I wish it would just focus on the image. Um, you really have to focus, focus. You have to look closely at the pictures if you want to see all the details. So that's the only bummer about it. Um, you, there's just so much going on, but the card is small because you have these borders. You have this huge border here, and then you have the white border, and then you have like the different languages. So it's just like there's a lot going on that doesn't necessarily need to be there. Um, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't even mind just having this border but expand everything you know so we could see the images so that's the only thing I, I wish they really would have thought and considered um before <laughs> before making that deck now what i really like though is some of these images like this one is is the high priestess and i, I hope it'll focus she's like a flower and this actually reminded me a lot of um the Victorian romantic, no, the Victorian flower oracle. This one, where you have these people who are dressed as their flowers. So some of the imagery in this deck is actually like reminiscent of that and it's really, really nice. Um, let's see if I can find another flower person. <laughs> I just thought that was really clever. Oh, the temperance. And I laughed when I saw the devil because um, the cat, it's like a black cat, looks just like Luna. That is hilarious. She's a little devil. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh, my God. This, the artwork is really pretty. You guys have to see this deck. Um, if you guys want to see any of these cards up close and personal, um, let me know. I could do a, a separate video. But I don't want to spend too much time with each deck. Look at this oh my god this is the four of cups 
See, I'm telling you, like, the imagery is beautiful. You just have to look closely to see the details. But yeah, if you guys want to see anything up close and personal, I can do another video of a, like a deck, um, deck reveal or something. But yeah, that's the Harmonious Tarot. I don't know if you could still find this on Amazon. I haven't tried looking. I never even heard of this deck until I saw this person selling it. So <laughs> that was kind of a cool find. Um, okay. So after that, I had ordered three decks on Amazon and they're just like, literally, I was just splurging. Um, so the first one is the Herbal Tarot, the Herbal Tarot. <laughs> um, I kid you not, I've always wanted this deck. I don't know much about herbs. That's, that's why I think it's weird that I wanted it so bad. But I liked the imagery and I liked the idea of the plants. I don't know, it just really called to me. So I, it was just one of those that I just bought because. So um, all of these, the, the next three are, I purchased all on Amazon so you could totally find them still. The comes with a little white book. This is the backs of the cards. And I think I'm really liking the plant life cards because of spring right now. So this is a really cool deck that I could pull out for spring. And since it's pretty much Rider Waite based, um, it'll be really easy to connect with them without worrying about the meanings. And I, like I said, I don't know much about herbs. I'm not much of a plant person. I have a black thumb, if anything. <laughs> but um, I don't know, it just really called to me. So maybe this will come out, come, you know, become useful later on, who knows. But yeah, so you have, you know, typical, your your typical major arcana, and then they're paired with um, a plant. And it says, it'll say um, the name of the card at the bottom, and then at the top in cursive, you'll see the, the name of the plant that is pictured. So look at this death card though, with the elder flowers. Never even heard of elder flowers. But look at that creepy death card. So, so pretty. Ooh, look at the, the tower has garlic. I like that. <laughs> um, ooh, the moon has lemon balm. Look how pretty that is. And then the sun has Angelica. So really kind of, it's a pretty cool deck. I'm, I like it. I like it. Ten of Swords has the Ephedra. Look at how creepy those swords are all bloody. I like it. This deck is cool. Here's that Three of Swords. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Herbal Tarot for any of you guys who are who might be interested. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Okay. So I'm happy. <laughs> you know how it is. Like you, you're always curious about a certain deck and you haven't bought it, but then you, you're just like, oh, I should just buy it. It's cheap. Like this is cheap. It wasn't even that expensive. So yeah. Um, next I have, they're all, these are right. These are right away. So this one is the white tarot. This one's popped up a couple times on on eBay because sometimes I like to search like ter like Rider Waite clones because I don't know, I'm like a big fan of the Rider Waite clone. So this one says, the white tarot represents a fresh look at Arthur Edward Waite's conception of tarot. It has been forged via the interpretation of the latter's celebrated the pictorial key to tarot. This fresh look at the pictorial key to tarot has been realized, has been realized by the painter Andrei Letnev. The present edition is comprised of 78 very beautiful, high quality cards and an accompanying book booklet. It's hard to read because <laughs> the um, the box is like this real shiny grayish blue color and it actually it matches my nails, so it's kind of cool. And the highlights, like the, the text and everything is this bright ass orange, pinky hot orange, hot pink color. So it's really bright. <laughs> So really pretty box, really pretty box. Um, and the deck, I already took a sneak peek of like t two of them, but I haven't seen all of them. So it comes with a um, a white book and freaking love, look at how gorgeous these card backs are. So it matches the box, but fucking 
beautiful. Oh my God, like, oh my God. <laughs> um, so you have a little title card and this is the white tarot. So very much like just a lot of white. It's like the, the, the borders, there's no harsh lines. It's just different. It's different. I don't know. I just, I dig it. The magician. The high priestess. And look at, <laughs> they all have white hair. That's what's different. The empress. Look at her hair. It's all white. Her dress is white. The Emperor, white. <laughs> I wonder if they're all like that. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Strength has her hair color. Chariot, strength, they have their hair colors. That is so funny, though. Look at how this, this hermit. It's just different. It's different. I don't know how to explain it. I think it's mainly like there's no border, like no harsh lines. So it just kind of looks like a cloud. I don't know the devil <laughs> I love it I love it I love right away let's see Ooh, look at this um the Sun three of cups yeah this is cool the Knight of Cups. So if you're into white right away, you'll get this one. Just get it because fucking like at least because it's just different. Look at that. Um, the card backs. That's beautiful card back. That's just that alone is gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so that is the white tarot. And I got that one off Amazon for cheap. It wasn't even expensive. And I finally own the Borderless Edition Smith Weight Tarot deck. I'm excited for this one. I have been wanting this one for a while. I was surprised because I have a lot of a lot of versions of Rider Weight, and I don't own this one. And everybody that I've ever asked who or, or what is your favorite edition of Rider Weight. Everybody will say it is the Smith weight. Um, the Pamela Coleman, like all of the Pamela Coleman type, the, those versions, like those decks. And I've never owned any of them. So I'm so happy to finally own one. <laughs> and I picked the borderless because I have so many Rider weight decks that have the borders because I actually like borders. I just, you know, not if they're like too, if they're too much, it's too much and I don't like it. But I actually like borders. It doesn't bother me. But I don't own a Rider weight that doesn't have borders like this. I Or actually, I lie. I think I do have one. I might have one. But um, I really wanted this one. So... It comes with some really cool title cards, um, some information. It has a couple extras. So there's one extra card. Here's another artwork. Just like really pretty, like pretty stuff. So you get a little extras there. And then I literally, you guys, I gasped when I saw this deck. Like, oh my God, it is so beautiful. Okay, first off, here are the backs. So the backs are like um, a chalkboard green, okay? Um, I, I know there's different versions of the Pamela Coleman or like the Smith weight. Um, and I wanna say that one of the other ones, this is actually lighter. This, mine is dark, I don't know, mine looks dark. May not look too much on camera, but it's like a chalkboard green color and it has Pamela's um, signature, which it's kind of funny story. When I was first learning the tarot, I didn't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> I was just like, what is that squiggly like snake thing? It's Pamela's signature. How 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 awful. So <laughs> so it's kind of cool because it has um her signature on there. And um because she created the, the artwork. Like, come on, she wouldn't this she created this. So fucking oh my god, the fool. You guys have no idea. <laughs> You have no idea how like how I, I'm like literally when I first saw 
the fool. I was like, how the fuck did I go so long without owning this deck? These cards, the color scheme, the fact that it looks so vintage, the colors, just like the, the, oh my God. I'm like, how did I go so long without owning this? This is gorgeous. This is, this is Instagram worthy without the filter. <laughs> oh my God. So, oh my God. It's fucking beautiful. I like gasped. It is so pretty. I am so happy that I finally purchased this. I don't know how I went without it. And it is so different looking at the cards without borders. I mean, come on. <laughs> so they just pop. They really do. They pop. So I never really paid attention to that because uh, do I have my Rider weight around here? I just have the... Um, I just have the, uh, what's it called? Um, the universal weight. So I'm used to seeing, you know, the image is smaller and then you have like the big ass white borders. But seeing, <laughs> seeing this deck without the borders and the pictures are just so much bigger. And I think the cards, they're, yeah, they're a little bit bigger than a standard tarot deck because this is the the universal weight we have like a tiny sliver of more space from the card so it's just a little bit wider <laughs> but um oh my gosh so let me show you the devil he's all nice and dark oh so pretty I freaking love it Okay, let me show you the side by side with the Three of Cups. Oh, the way they put this is all different. I never understand what they, how they do it. Okay. <laughs> so Three of Cups, like see how the image just pops? It's so huge compared to like when you have a border. See the difference? It's just like, wow, it really stands out. So I am so happy. <laughs> now I can see why you guys would always say, oh, you know, this is like my favorite version and you need to get it and this and that. I never really paid much attention when you guys would say, <laughs> would say that. I was just like, yeah, yeah, I like my other one. Yeah, yeah. But now I know what you guys were talking about. It's so pretty. So hands down, this is probably going to be one of my newest favorite Rider weights. Oh, and then I like how like it's just so the, the colors are so muted and they're very vintage looking. I don't know how else to explain it. Like they're just vintage looking. Everything just pops. So I'm very happy. I am very, very happy. The yellows are still bright, but they're not like in your face bright, you know? They're just perfect. So I'm happy. <laughs> so that is the Smith Weight Tarot, but it is the Borderless Edition. So um, I know that like this comes in a mini size, I believe. And then I know there's, um, I think there's a um, one with borders, but I bought the borderless and I'm really happy that I did that. So yes. Um, so yeah, you guys, that is my tarot haul. Um, I'm really happy with the decks that I bought. I love all of them. So that's always a good sign when you like everything that you buy. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you have any questions or you want to see some more of any of the decks that I showed, let me know in the comments and I can make a separate video. Other than that, I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye loves.